Steve Cram next to the outside and Frank Amara of Ireland. And I wonder what's going through Steve Cram's mind now. This is his best event. And having been beaten into third place in the 800, he now defends the 1500 meter title. Gonzalez 758, good figure, Kulka. 781 is, uh, or 381 rather, O'Sullivan, Seb Coe, crossing himself, the second Spaniard, Carrera, Johnny Kroon of Sweden, Latoya for the Soviet Union. The men's 1500 metre final. Latoya for the Soviet Union has gone off quickly, so too is John Gladwin. Sebastian Coe's up there and Cram up there with Gonzalez. On the inside is uh, the yellow vest of Sweden and Kroon. Right on the outside, Carrera. Kroon goes elbowing his way through. Still the leading, Kroon in second place, Carrera of Spain is third. Fourth, Sebastian Coe. In fifth place, 381 is Marcus O'Sullivan. And the pace pretty steady. The, the pace is quite slow after the opening 100 metres, which was uh, quite fast and Cram moving to the outside there. I think physically it's very close between Steve Cram and Sebastian Coe, and I think today it could come down to which one of the two wants it most badly. Does Cram want it badly because he lost the 800 metres and he's the defending 1500 metres champion, or does Coe want it badly because he wants to add to his 800 metres gold medal? That is the question, and Cram finds himself in the unusual position in a major championship, being in the lead on the first lap. Also unusual too, just inside 64 seconds. And Steve Cram elected, I think, to take up that position because he wanted to get out of trouble. They were bunching, and you can see the elbows are flying. Sebastian Coe were uh, slightly tripped. Just as they entered the uh, previous bend. Cram leading, Pereira of Spain in second place. Kroon of Sweden is third. Amara, the Irishman. Four, five is Sebco, six is O'Sullivan, seven is Gonzalez, who's one of the danger men. And this is Petter Wurtz now of Switzerland coming up. Well, that mark is showing two to go, the pace modest. And there's as much uh, mental effort being put in here as physical effort. And Gladwin now has decided to make some sort of move. Well, I think this is John Gladwin's chance. This is what I thought he would do. And I think he's got to get his head down now and run the finish out of the faster men. I think he's brave enough to do it. And let's see if he can do it. Well, he's gone to the front, but he's not done very much as yet, and as a result, Steve Cram got himself in a bottle of trouble. He and Seb Coe running side by side. But uh, Coe now dropping in behind Cram and following uh, Cram all the time. Tracking, tracking, waiting. He off now at Denmark, 71. Gladwin looking very, very composed and cool. He off in second place, Kroon is third, Cram is four, Gonzalez. And Coe moving up on the outside. Sullivan uh, trapped on the curb, the Irishman, as they come now to the bell and the race really boiling. He off, kicks for home. Gladwin second, Cram follows the leader. And Coe can't get to Cram at the moment because of Gonzalez. He off, surprise finalist from Denmark. Cram in second place. Third is Gonzalez. Uh, Gladwin's going back and Coe coming through now with a free run. But Cram has got three, four metres to spare on Coe, approaching 200, he's got to sustain it now, being hunted by Gonzalez, and there's Coe, the Olympic 1500 metre champion of 1980 and 1984, trying now to take the European title, but Kramer has got two or three metres to spare, and Coe has got an awful lot to do, and he's not going to catch him, Cram defends the European title in style. Poe is second, and Kulka a surprise third. Cram got it wrong on Thursday, but got it right in the event in which he's happiest. Poe says well done. 